Welcome to Artma and today we are learning the perspective crop tool in Photoshop. The perspective crop tool is nested under the crop tool. So right click, there you have your tool, shortcut is C. The perspective crop tool flattens out a surface in an image which is in perspective. Like in this image, the book cover is in perspective. I'll make some quick clicks along the cover page of this book so I can show you some features of this tool. And the fourth click completes the layout. Since this is not the perfect layout, you can just grab it and drag and move to the perfect spot. You can also drag it by the edges or even rotate it to fix the spot. And most importantly, you can just drag the points and place them where you want. I'm happy with this, you can take your own time later. And so I'll confirm this to flatten it out. So this is basically what the perspective crop tool does. It crops the part of the image which is in perspective and then flattens it. Now the perspective crop tool also has some options attached to it. First is this width and height dimension option. Let's say I enter 800 in width and 800 in height as well. Then I'll go ahead and uh, make the cropping grid. Confirm it. And here you see the image is cropped and flattened with the dimension of 800 pixels by 800 pixels. So obviously the image is squeezed. The other thing you can do is say you have 1000 pixels on width and 800 pixels on height. Swap them by clicking on this icon. The next thing we are going to study is this resolution. For that I'm going to put 8 inches on width, inches not pixels, I n for inch and 10 inch on height and I'm going to have 300 pixels per inch on resolution. You can change the unit here. You have pixels per centimeter also so you can choose to your liking. I'll have pixels per inch. Then I'll make a quick crop along the perspective lines and then confirm it. So now what you get in front of you will be printed on a piece of paper which is 8 inches in width and 10 inches in height and this will be printed with a resolution of 300 pixels per inch. Next we have the front image. Let's say you want to make the perspective crop in the dimension of this original image or the front image. So instead of manually entering the dimensions in these input fields, you can just click the front image button. So what it did was it automatically grabbed the dimension of this image here in the input fields. And then when you complete the crop and confirm it, the cropped image will be in the dimension of the original image. So next we have the clear option. When you click the clear button, it clears all the input boxes. It doesn't undo the crop, it just clears the input boxes. To undo the crop, you can hit Ctrl plus Z on your keyboard. Next is the show grid option, which if it's checked, when you lay the crop on the image, it will show the grid. And if it's unchecked, it will not show the grid. And this is it from me today. Make sure to check the other videos. I'll see you next time. Bye.